Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Will Patterson, and welcome back to a new video. Today, we're in London. Fiverr brought me down to have a look at an office in the London Eye today. They have made an office for me to work in for a short period of time, and I thought it would be an amazing idea to bring you with me to show you what the office is really like. If you'd like to know more about Fiverr, what they do, and how you can make more money in your design work, then click that link down below. Also watch the end of the video where I'll be telling you five easy ways of making more money online as a designer that's just come out of university or someone who's just starting. Let's do it. Have you ever wondered how you can make more money doing the thing that you love the most? Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Will Patterson, and welcome back to a new video. Today, I'm giving you the top four amazing, cool ways to make more money doing what you love in graphic design. The biggest thing that I see when it comes to people starting out in design is that they don't really know how to make money out of it. Of course, we talk about client work, getting hired and doing jobs for people. But what happens when you don't have any client work and you're not getting employed? Or what happens if you want to be freelance, but you don't know how to make ends meet? Well, if that is you, then you might want to watch to the end of this video because this video is going to be valuable to you. The number one way to make more money online is obviously selling online products. When I mean online products, I don't mean like t-shirts or merchandise, which you can do. I'm talking about digital resources, products that never run out. The great thing about the design or the creative space when you're talking about designers and you know, illustrators is that everything now is basically digital. That means that we draw on digital devices such as you know the iPad Pro. We also draw on illustrators. So there are countless opportunities to make brushes and fonts and mock-ups and logo branding presentation mock-ups that you can do yourself to sell to others online. I've been doing this for a while. I have a website where I sell brushes to people for procreate for lettering because I'm a massive fan of hand lettering and it's part of my job so I like to sell the brushes that I make and that helps me make a bit more money if you're looking for a product that you can make that will sell just look at what other people need when a designer sees that they need that mock-up for that branding presentation you need to sell it to them so you need to tell them about it and get people understanding that they need it this could be fonts again mock-ups or brushes but it's a great way of making more money online and you can use websites like squarespace or shopify to do that the second way is by gaining more clients i know i make it sound easy but really it's not it's simple but it's not easy gaining clients if we think about it clients come because they see our work and they see a need in their job or in their company and they want you to work in it from the work that they've seen you do so obviously this means getting your work out into portfolios on instagram and on facebook but what happens when you know we're just very small time designers we don't want to do it for a living we want to do it as a side hustle and we just want to make a bit more money out of it or if you're someone who's struggling to find client work in traditional ways what do you do then well this video is actually sponsored by fiverr if you don't know what fiverr is it's a website where you can get logo services design services voiceover services from people around the world you may have heard me talk about fiverr previously a few years ago on the video saying that it's probably not a good idea if you're a professional going into it but since then fiverr have actually changed certain parts of the website where you can now charge a good amount of money for the work that you do there's something called Fiverr Pro as well if your work is good enough. Now Fiverr is great for any designer who's starting to get into the field of design or anyone who wants to make 
money doing what they love doing. And the reason why it's in this video is because a lot of you guys are just starting out in the design field and you may be just dipping your toes into this massive industry and you want to know what it's like to work with clients. Now Fiverr is great for doing that and I would suggest starting out on Fiverr as you can set your prices fairly. Another great thing is that if you don't have a massive following on YouTube or Instagram, Fiverr is a great place to show your work because there's people going on that website to get work from people like you and they're willing to pay for it. The third way to make more money as a designer is by starting a blog. Now a blog, a podcast, a YouTube channel or a cool Twitter monetizable account is a really great way to build an audience but also to build your reputation. I started YouTube for this exact reason. I didn't have loads of client work at the start so I thought you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide value for other people who are willing to learn about Photoshop. I'm going to answer the the questions that I have taught myself and give it to people so they don't have to spend that time learning it themselves. Now what I did with this is obviously I monetized my YouTube account so during the days where I didn't have client work in the early days where I, I would be struggling for money YouTube would be there helping me out with that because it was generating passive income and the same is for a podcast or a blog. Now the reason why it can help you make more money is in two ways. One it makes you an authority in the industry that that you're niching down on and talking about in the blog, video or podcast. This means that when clients see your work, they're more likely to work with you because you're creating content from a teacher's perspective, showing other people in that industry how you do it. So they're more likely to look at you and go, yeah, I'm gonna work with you. Not only that, you can monetize it with advertisements and sponsorships. This is huge. If you're just someone who is struggling to gain clients and to get your head into the space or the industry industry than monetizing your content and building a base online of people who listen to you like a podcast or like you know what I or the future or whoever does. If you're someone who's wanting to get into creating content for like a blog or a website or a YouTube channel then it's a great way and I would start doing it now because in the future these things can only rise up. So it's a great opportunity to start marketing you and your services but not only that monetizing it as you do that. And the last way number four to make more money online is a bit more of an abstract one but I'm going to give it to you anyway it is by increasing your following your following online actually dictates your influence in that specific industry that you're followed in people see a following like a mark of honorary respect online it doesn't matter if they've deserved it it just means they've done something in the community or the creating value in that community that people want so a lot of people are going to follow you and when you get followed people are more likely to work with you because they see you as the top of the field regardless of your abilities. You see what I'm saying? Now how do you actually increase your following online? Well it's pretty simple actually but I don't hear a lot of people talking about it. Number one you create valuable content. Number two you actually create content that people want to share. I found that on Instagram if I'm doing hand lettering for myself and it, it's great I get a few likes and a few followers that's great but if I start to target people so such as quotes that people might want to share around the internet, more and more people will actually share my work on different Instagram accounts or on blogs. And what will happen then is people will be more likely to follow me. So the way that I come about Instagram and making more of a following online is by creating content that people want to share. And that goes for videos, that goes for blogs, that goes for everything else. Because when you create content people want to share, it increases your following. And then not only does it increase your following, it increases your chances of doing everything else in that industry from client work to monetizing the content to selling products it's all about getting your name out there i just want to thank fiverr again for sponsoring this video fiverr actually took me and my wife to london to sit in the london eye on this office and do some work it was really cool it was a jazzed out office space in the london eye by an awesome interior designer and Fiverr have sponsored this video to let you guys know that I've got a sellers list on Fiverr of people that I think do great work. 
You'll find the link to the list in the description below or on the link on the screen right now. And I encourage you guys to go and click on it and take a look at some of these people doing work on Fiverr. There's some for logo animations and logo intros and outros. And it's a great way of actually increasing your chance of selling a logo design to your client by getting a quick animation done online. For more information about Fiverr and some of the intro and outros and logo animators, on my list. Click that link down below in the description. Remember to like and subscribe to this video, turning on post notifications so you never miss one. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you soon. Goodbye.